Hi. Let's check out some orders of magnitude questions. Before you get to the answers, why don't you try them yourself and then come on back for the answers and explanations. You want to keep in mind some points of reference. Now, this is just a sample of some. You could add more if you want, but a lot of students don't want to memorize things, so you want to just keep a few that you have in the back of your head that you can go ahead and turn to and use. So, pause the video, answer the questions, come on back and see how you did. Okay, let's take a look. So in this first one here, it's asking about the measurement closest to 1 times 10 to the minus 2. If we take that out of scientific notation, I take the number 1 and I go ahead and slide the decimal over that's going to be 0.01 meters. Well, certainly the diameter of an atom is smaller than that. And certainly, and this would mean meters, and certainly the length of a football field is definitely bigger than that. And if you think about it, I'm, I'm short, and I'm a teacher, but I'm not that short. Because if you take a look, 0.01 meters is equal to 1 centimeter. So 1 centimeter is closest to the width of a student's finger which essentially is here, what I have you memorizing here. All right, let's take a look at the next one. The diameter of an automobile tire is closest to. Well, if you think in your head about a tire, it, it's around the width of a door, which I think is an easy way to remember what one meter looks like in your head. And any classroom you're in, even if you're taking the test in the gym, you can go ahead and stare at the door. So one meter in scientific notation, or anytime you have one in scientific notation, it's 10 to the zero. So there's my answer there. Now you can go through the rest of them, and again, kind of think about what the numbers mean. 10 to the minus 2 is 0.01 meters. That's back to 1 centimeter. That can't be it. 10 to the 1 would be 10 meters. Well, that would be some big tire. That's certainly not it. And 100 meters, well, that's even crazier. So the answer is choice 2. Let's take a look at the last one here. The height of a 30-story building is approximately. Well, a story, of course, is a floor. If you think about your classroom and a meter stick, eh, I'm going to say roughly about 3 meters of floor. If you have 3 meters of floor and you have a 30-story building, that's about 90 meters. What's 90 close to? 90 is close to 100 meters. And, of course... They're not going to make it easier on you. You have to know scientific notation. 100 is equal to 1 times 10 to the second power. Right? So the answer here is choice 3. So when it comes to order of magnitude questions, you're rounding to the closest factor or power of 10. You want to keep some references in mind. I think the ones I have here are kind of just a, a bare bones, maybe the easiest ones to remember. And then, of course, you have to have a decent idea of scientific notation. Now, if you're using a scientific calculator, you can plug in numbers and go back and forth between the floating decimal or the decimal point and scientific notation, but then you have to know how to use your calculator. Or you can, of course, just slide the decimal. Either way, make sure you know it. Most of the time, if not all the time, on the physics regions, there's always a question on order of magnitude. Keep working hard, and good luck.